Okay, we've gathered them together again, the terrific trio of MPs spanning the political and personality spectrum. The Liberal MP without charismatic equal is Roger Kuzner, oh, NDP oh, no. Deputy Leader, also without equal, Megan Leslie. Wow. And the MP voted top committee chair eight years in a row, Conservative Finance Committee Chair James Rajat. Welcome to you all. Thanks. See, hey? You. See that yeah, pumped you all up? Yeah. 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 Uh, Megan, I want to give you, give you a quick thought on this U Ukrainian feud of our own over here, you know, this divided community country there and here it's pretty divided opinion. Uh, are you upset that this seems to be a conservative only ticket on the plane tonight or do you think that it is a government mission therefore they're entitled to take who they want? I, I, I think that with what's going on with Ukraine right now I, I frankly don't want to talk about who's on the delegation or who's not. I mean, uh, we support the delegation. We wish them well. Uh, there are lives at, at risk here. We already have seen loss of life. So I... I, I don't really think that's the discussion we should be having. You wanted to say something, or can we move along, James? We can move along if All you right. want to, Don. That, that was well said. So. All right. Uh, the public safety announcement today uh, on the on the uh, crackdown on pedophiles um, and certainly adding concurrent sentences or, or consecutive sentences, uh, pretty tough stuff. Uh, Roger, did anything bother you in what you heard Stephen Blaney saying? Uh, no, not so much. I had an opportunity to speak with the minister, uh, you know, prior to the show here today, and uh, so he had sort of highlighted some of the some of the aspects of the bill. Uh, certainly, you know, our our priority is, you know, th these are the most offensive of of people that commit crimes on uh, on kids, and uh, they should be dealt with in a you know in that type of manner but uh let's see you know we'll we'll look at the uh, at the bill when it comes forward and uh, see what the details are but uh you know from what i got from the minister uh all clear from you? All clear well, from you? Well, I'm not the de facto justice expert on their side. I know, but you, you would, your antenna twitch when you hear something you don't like, so I would gather you weren't hearing anything too offensive. Yeah. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I tend to twitch when I see a crime bill introduced by uh, the Conservatives. I don't trust them on this file. So I'm in the same boat as Roger, where this was just announced. we got to look at the details and figure out what's going on here. I know there are mandatory minimums that, you know, at times can raise, get my back up. Uh, but I, the devil's in the details. And I don't trust these guys. Uh, I think they try to uh, create this fear among Canadians so that they can get these crime and punishment laws through that aren't actually based on evidence or, or reality when crime rates are going down. I, again, I haven't, we have to do an analysis here of the bill, but I'm suspicious. All I she am. has to fear is fear itself, is that what she's saying? Well, it's fair for members of parliament to go through the bill in detail. I mean, at, at, at uh, second reading vote, obviously, it's a vote on the principle of the bill. But as you pointed out in your interview with the minister, I mean, this is dealing with, with some of the most heinous actions that one sees committed in society. So I, I would hope parties would come in unison, and if they have... Uh, you know, constructive suggestions to make at committee stage, make them there. But I hope we could unite around, you know, protecting children and ensure that these heinous crimes are dealt with very severely because a justice system should be proportionate. These crimes that are done in this way should be dealt with severely, in my view. All right, there's an evil word circulating around Parliament Hill again. It's called coalition. <laughs> Uh, there's talk. Uh, the NDP leader, Tom Mulcair, uh, sort of said, yeah, well, you know, I'm open to working with anybody to keep kick Stephen Harper out of power. And Justin Trudeau said, no how, no way. And, and the Conservatives cackled and said, well, maybe they are. I don't know. Megan, clarify for us. Is a coalition a real coalition that we're talking about here? Or is it sort of a warm and fuzzy, we'll reach out to you and do a kumbaya hug and if we get into power? Make yeah. it happen that way. Well, you know, Tom's been, I think, very clear, at just like Jack Layton was, and, and I hope just like I will be right now. Uh, we're open to working together. I, I mean, Jack Layton was the, the master of working together. We will work together uh, to make sure that the best result happens for Canadians. In advance of an election, are we going to go in and say, hey, Liberals, you don't run someone here, we won't run someone there? No, no, no. That's up to Canadians to decide who they want to elect in, in what ridings and what parts of Canada. But after the fact, absolutely. Our goal is to get rid of Stephen Harper. And uh, we will work with other parties to make sure that happens. All right, Probably so, not the Conservatives, though. Right. So, Roger, after the election... The NDP will be theoretical here and say has more seats than you, but not as many as the Conservatives. So the Stephen Harper Conservatives try and govern. They're defeated in the first a test of confidence. Is your guy going to say no to the NDP? Let's walk away and 
Not have anything the, the, to do the whole with thing it. around the coalition, uh, I know coming out of the last election, which you guys might remember, we didn't do all that well. Uh, you, uh, Mulcair weighed in on it then. He said absolutely no coalition, and so he seems that's to not, have. That's not true. Well, he said no coalition. He said, he, he said no, he, he, he was, the question was about um, in during the leadership race. It was the sort of lead now question about whether or not you would trade off ridings and say we're not going to run someone here. Okay, well, I so he said it was no, no to coalition. That. I understood he spoke against coalition at that time. And see, the uh, coalition's already fractured. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe they're <laughs> we're starting to see fault lines with the coalition <laughs> already. Uh, but uh, uh, you, you know, J Justin ran on the leadership and, and one of the aspects of the leadership was that no you know we're we wanted to rebuild the liberal party and we don't want to just uh, a different government we want a better government and uh, so that's that's sort of what we're committed to and we're a doing our best to try to skeptical convince maybe, Canadians uh, we can do that. You know I, I would never want to spread rumors but I think I saw Gilles Duceppe uh, leave the NDP caucus this morning I, I don't want to spread rumors though but I think I, <laughs> since he's not even going to run so any of these. Look I, I just it's sort of fascinating and it's it's fascinating watching the last Liberal convention because it it seemed odd. I thought both parties, both the NDP and Liberals, were sort of trying to move to the center and sort of fight the election next election on that ground. But um, the NDP seems to have stayed sort of more on the left, and the Liberals seem to be moving to the left. In my view, they're sort of competing for votes. So it's going to be a very clear choice in the next election between the government that's balances, hopefully balances budget, moving forward, you know, doing relatively well economically versus. Frankly, two parties are sort of on the left of the political terrain here that, in Canada. I find that interesting because after the uh, Liberal uh, convention, Trudeau was saying, "Hey, hug a conservative. Those folks are nice. We need them. We need our. We, we need those votes." Nice, and and they, nice support, they support. They support. They're supporting all the key conservative principles. So I find it very interesting that you think they're moving to the well, left. But, I, left. He, I would say the opposite. But he seemed to he seemed to sort of endorse deficit financing, and he seemed to endorse much well, higher. I don't think you can read much spending. into what he's saying I mean, on the economy. <laughs> oh, I, I, oh, that's I, a bit of a uh, shot there, Raj. I think we had a good, uh, and as a matter of fact, when somebody, when, when he had said, you know, hug a conservative, somebody shouted out James Rashad's name. They, they, you know, they suggested <laughs> he should be the conservative you should hug. But uh, uh, I, I, we, we had a great convention. We were really... Uh, uh, the, the focus was on the economy. The focus was on uh, what can we do to better uh, help Canadians, you know, find their way back into the, the job market and the workforce. And so, uh, you know, we'll come forward with a platform that uh, includes those types of initiatives. I'll tell you, if power is sitting there and all you have to do is reach out to Tom Walker and give him a little hug, I think you're probably going to reach out and grab it. Am I being too... Well, that's after the election. We'll come uh, back and have this discussion. two parties are power hungry. Are you, oh, I would, you saying that? Would you? I would think there's a chance of that. But I'm, who am I to say? I'm not part of this thing. Let's be, let's be forget you guys also talked about a coalition too. So anyway. There we go. We, we, they, we, they're a party we of a coalition. You actually yeah, went to the GG for a pre-clearance on that. Shake. No, we're actually yeah. a coalition of two legacy parties. But if you look at us in, in uh, since 2006, in fact, we've worked with different parties on different issues to pass different pieces of legislation. All so. right. I, I've got more to talk about, but you guys have a vote to we catch. Do. So we'll let That's you right. go a little early. And thanks very much. And we'll see you uh, next Wednesday, I hope. Thanks, All right. Sweet. Coming up, Great. we fearlessly...